Hi everyone, Andy here from Imagine Academy. Today we're going to be going over printing um, your models after everything has been nested in 3D Sprint. So once your files have been sent over from your computer to your printers, we'll start the printing process. You're going to see a little preview in the touch screen uh, with what you're about to print. So here we're going to be printing our model bases and I see a little STL preview of those bases on the screen. The first thing we're going to do is click start job. It's going to confirm that we have the correct material inside the printer, which we do. And from there, we're going to have to scan our bottle. For this one, we're going to be printing with model 2.0 um, in the peach shade. You're going to notice a couple QR codes on the bottle's label. Typically, we always use the front QR code. After we scan the bottle, it's going to ask us to confirm three things. The first is to make sure that the build platform is clean and empty. So what we do to check that is that we want to make sure that the build platform's preparations does not have any cured material inside and everything is smooth to the touch. So after we've confirmed that, we'll click the check mark. The second thing we have to check is to make sure that there's an appropriate amount of material inside the resin tray. Typically, we like to keep the level between two and three. Um, usually, if you fill it up too high to the maximum, when you're stirring the material, that can cause spillage um, on the resin tray. The last thing we have to check is to make sure that the resin tray has been stirred. So we'll go ahead and grab our spatula to do so. Usually when I stir the resin tray while it's in the machine, I'm going to make sure that I don't apply any downward pressure as we're stirring back and forth because we do not want to puncture the resin tray's fill. At the same time as I'm stirring, I want to make sure that there's no extra debris that might have cured and not attached to the build platform. And typically, if material has already been sitting inside the printer, we're just going to stir this for about one minute. After the material has been stirred, we want to make sure that we catch any access material from the spatula. We'll put that to the side. After confirming all three items, we'll click Start Job. So as our models are printing, we're going to go ahead and actually start the printing process for the gingiva mask as well. An important thing to know when nesting your gingiva masks for your models is that you attach the smart supports to the tissue surface of your gingiva mask and not the model surface to ensure an exact fit. We're going to go ahead and start this job. All of the checks have already been done. The print platform is clean. The resin tray has enough material and the resin inside the resin tray has been properly stirred. From there, all we have to do is wait for these to print. Your models are going to take about 45 minutes. The gingiva is going to take about 20. And after that, we'll go into post-processing.